sage, rosemary and thyme. They're more than just lyrics from a folk song. Together with marjoram, they're woody herb staples in most productive gardens. Being woody herbs, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the supple, young plants that you first put in the ground, well, eventually become a bit woody. They're also not especially long-lived, and after a few years, once they become woody, they don't bounce back after pruning, they lose their vigour. And that's the time to create new plants. Taking cuttings and propagating them is a simple way to generate new plants. Each cutting should be around 10 centimetres long, with healthy tips and make sure you use sharp blades so the cuts are clean. Right, with these cuttings, you need to make sure there's at least three to four nodes along the stem. Now a node is the point at which a leaf joins that stem and that's where the new roots will grow from. It's also a good idea just to strip any leaves off right up to the new shoot and even then cut some of those leaves off. And this will just reduce the transpiration load on the leaves and stop them from wilting. And I'm popping this into some rooting hormone, which will help stimulate the roots growing from those nodes. Just needs a little dip in, like that. And then with the dipper, make a little hole in the tray. Pop that in gently. And just make sure that the propagation mix is pushed up nice and firm against the stem. There we go, and I'll just repeat. Keeping the cuttings hydrated is essential. In addition to regular, gentle watering or misting, you'll get best results if you place them in a humid environment to keep the moisture levels constant. You don't need a greenhouse to make this work. A simple clear plastic bag over the top will do the trick. Just be sure to take it off every few days to allow fresh air in. Now these should take root in around six to eight weeks depending on the temperature. Once you can see some white roots underneath the bottom of the tray, that's the sign to pot these on individually into slightly larger pots and then grow them on into nice strong plants before putting them out into the garden. Propagating from cuttings is not only a good way to renew old plants, it can also help to beat pests and disease. This tricolour sage has been hit by mealybug, an annoying sap-sucking pest. Look, you can see it in there. So the plan is to take cuttings, treat the pest, and then strike new healthy plants. This time, nearly all the leaves are stripped off to physically remove the mealybug and any eggs. Then a thorough spray with an organic insecticidal soap for good measure, before dipping in rooting powder and placing in the tray just as before. I'll position this tray in a sheltered spot rather than putting it straight into my greenhouse until I'm sure they are pest free. I'll give those cuttings a follow-up spray in about a week's time to keep them nice and clean. As for this one, I'll give it a bit of a cutback and a regular spray to see if I can get the mealybug under control. But either way, it doesn't really matter because as you've seen, cuttings are a great way to make the old and the sick new again. <laughs>